What's up, bitches? We are back, and today's topic is fan fictions that have been left unfinished. Yeah, so... I just closed actually... the damn background image. I'm stupid. Continue, please. <laughs> so, this is actually a um, topic that has affected me today. Um, it, it was something that kind of is driving me nuts. I was reading a fan fiction today. And I don't normally read in progress, works in progress, because I have no willpower, no self-control, and I like to binge read. So I would much rather watch, I mean, read completed fiction than stuff that's not done. Because normally, I don't want to be left hanging, especially not if it's never going to get done. So I started a really, really good fiction today. Um... And I read all seven chapters. And... Damn, that's how you know it's good when you binge read. And I didn't notice, and these were long chapters too. Mm -hmm. These were like not, they were not, you know... They were probably the size of... Yes, people, four, I'm picking my nose. Deal with it. They were, they were probably the size of four of your regular chapters, Glitchy. Um, oh, shit. See, I... Like I said... Okay, I used to post... I used to post fiction that long, with those long of a chapters, but then I started noticing people only really read it more if they're shorter chapters, especially on Amoeba. Well, and see, my thing, I was reading this on Archive of Our Own, oh, well, there. and my thing is this, if the content is good, I'll read a long ass thing. I think my content's pretty damn good. If it, you know, if it doesn't drag, if it doesn't have, you know, skip to the good part points, mm, mm, mm. um, you know, I'll fucking sit and read for hours. But I didn't notice, until I was done reading the seven chapters, <laughs> that the first um, chapter was published in January of... No, 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 I'm wrong. In October of 2013. And the last time it was updated was January of 2014. <clears throat> I didn't notice this. Oh, if I had, if I had, I probably would not have read the fic at all. Mm. And okay, I, I gotta, I gotta say this: if you start writing something and you just kind of don't have time to finish it, or you run out of steam with it, that's okay. But post in the story somewhere that it's not going to get finished. You know, make a definite, you know, look, I'm sorry, the story has been lost, I'm not going to finish it, you know, some, something. But when I get attached to the way you've written these characters, and... I really enjoy where you were going with things, and you were just about to start a whole new, like, section in the story. Mm. After a huge, like, climactic, like, you know, bit of action and stuff. Don't leave me hanging. That's just rude. And then... And then... Oh shit, dude. Uh, sorry, technical difficulties, people. Our video has cut off because my cohort has lost connection. Uh, one second. Uh, sorry about this, guys. Um, I'm gonna turn my webcam off too, just for a second. We're having technical difficulties. Oh wait, I don't know if you can hear. Can you hear me? Can you all yeah, can you guys hear, can hear me? Oh lord, we're having technical difficulties. Everything has gone to shit. I think his internet died. Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? I'm not sure if it was my internet or what. I was getting red everywhere. Because, like, my Skype had a moment, and then it came back up. But when it came back up, it didn't bring the call back up. 
So. Yeah, so it must have been you, and then it affected mine, too, because I was in the call with you. I, I, see, I don't know. I don't know but, what the um, fuck just happened, but... Are we still recording? Yeah, we're still recording, dude. Like, there's... Hold on, I gotta turn my shit off here. Yeah, no, oh there was definitely a... Hello, we're back, guys. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. Sorry for the technical difficulties. This is case in point. An example of my shit-tastic internet. <laughs> um... Shit just freaked out. I'm not yeah. sure what happened. So, back to what I was saying, you know, um, it's not cool. The last thing I heard you say was when you get into a story and I become attached to the way you've written a character, and that yeah. was, that's where it died. You know, when I get attached to the way you've written these characters and you go into this big, you know, action-y, you know, climactic scene, you get through that. And then you just stop. That's not cool. I want more. And you at least need to have the courtesy to post somewhere in your story that it's not going to get finished. Yeah. Or or you're going to have me going, is it ever going to get finished? Or am I going to wait forever to know what might have been? Like, I mean, really. And, you know... Some, this, there's also the opposite problem. When you make a fic, it's too short. Yeah. Like these fucking Drabble fics that are going around. Uh, Drabbles I can understand sometimes, but god damn, make sure you fucking list it as a Drabble. Well, my thing is this. It's okay to do Drabbles, but when you do a Drabble with a prompt mm -hmm. that fucking is longer than what a Drabble should be, mm -hmm. and then you just write a Drabble for it... Mm -hmm. I want more. I you want didn't more. Give me exactly. Enough. Especially if it's a really good travel. Like, hello, hello. Uh, <laughs> more, please. Yeah, you didn't oh, give me Side enough. note when we do the video for my birthday in a little bit, like this next oh, video yeah, we do, yeah. I gotta mention that Emmett in the morning, he totally sang me happy birthday Aww. while hugging me like super tight. <laughs> also, yeah, that was my birthday on July 1st, guys. Yeah. Yeah. And we will we will do a whole video about that. Um But for now that is just my fucking irritation with fucking fan pics. Yeah, no go ahead. Cause drabbles and fix that just stop make me mad. I know for a fact that I've got some, you know, fan fictions and whatnot that have that I've written that just stop in certain places, but that's because I get, I cannot control when I get the inspiration and, you know, w w when I have time to do things because life's hectic. And I understand that other in, in, in these instances, it can be the same way for other people, but I at least make sure to let people know that there's an, a, a hiatus or something, or I try to. Well, yeah, and if it's been a year since you did a chapter for it, yeah. you need to let people know. Yeah. And honestly, this is gonna sound bad, but if it's been a year, you know, since you did a chapter for one of your stories, the likelihood of me picking it back up whenever you get to it is not very high. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm gonna kind of be mad at you, <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, you know what? I don't want to keep reading this only for you to leave me hanging again. In one instance, I did have a fanfiction written for me by my internet sibling, uh, Justin Experiment, on, on fanfiction.net. You should check him out. He's really good. I'll get a link for that, uh, his fiction page. Because he wrote a X-Men fanfiction for me, focusing on the Brotherhood and a pair of twins of mine. And it kind of pissed me off a little bit, because he wrote the twins better than I write them. I was just sitting there like... He just, like, completely took them over and did, like... A bombastic, fantastic, amaze balls thing with them, and this is better than I could do. I'm just gonna go sit over here in a corner and molt and grow mushrooms. Uh, <laughs> or on high school host club reference there. <laughs> but yeah, um, I had to, I ended up having to wait like a year or two to for him to be able to finish it, and it was literally like only four or five chapters. But the reason it took so long is because he was in college, he had a boyfriend, and uh, he still has a boyfriend, and I haven't actually heard from him in a really long time, it's starting to stress me out. Um, but, 
there are I can I can understand where there's you know extenuating circumstances, but you know the thing that kept me going and kept me you know okay with how long it was taking. He kept up a constant dialogue with me whenever he could, and then also his boyfriend too. So I got a second yeah. brother. I wish they were my brothers instead of my actual brother. Yeah. I don't have any siblings. It's kind of nice. Yeah, you are so fucking lucky, dude. Kind of sucks at the same time, though. No, I really don't. Trust me. You think you want a sibling, but then you gotta think about what kind of sibling I. I excuse me. I have? Well, yeah. I want a decent sibling. Right? Your yeah. luck, you'll, your luck, you'll get a sibling who's like six foot seven and a total asshole. I'd be okay with the six foot seven part, but not the <laughs> asshole part. <laughs> oh lord. M most people are taller than me anyway, so it's not really I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like happy dance a little bit knowing that I'm taller than you. Just because I'm so short. Myself. Yeah, I'm usually the shortest guy in the room. Um. And that's okay, that's fine. I mean, shit. Whatever. It just makes me a little bit happy that I'm tall. Lur, that someone. <laughs> Terrible. I had that too. Occasionally, when I see somebody that I'm taller than, it's like, oh, yeah, <sighs> yeah, it's good, it's good. On the plus side, um, I can carry you around on my shoulders, and then we'll both be tall. Yeah. If my hips could handle it, you probably could. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, that's true. I'd probably uh, walk you into a damn, <laughs> a doorway. damn doorway frame. <laughs> I got something in my eye, and then it's making my eyes water. Oh, Lord. Yeah, dude, you look like you're crying. I've got, like, dust or something in my eye. Yo, you need some fucking eye drops? Jeez, the the right eye. eye. My eye drops are banished. Okay, I think I got it. Mm. That fucking right eye was like, ah. And on that note, folks, we'll see you in the next video. If you have any ideas, if you have any questions, comments, if you want to suggest things to us, if you want to suggest any fanfiction, if you want us to check out your fanfiction, I'm not saying that we'll get to it or leave a comment on the video, or on the um, fiction itself, but hey, we might check it out if we have time. And I will not read One Direction fanfiction. I will not read Boy Band fanfiction. I will not read Bleeding in White or whatever the fuck that band is. I will not read soccer fan fiction. I will not read why don't we, Twilight why don't we do, for the most part. Why don't we do a video on what fandoms and stuff we like and we would read fan fiction from? Yeah, we can do that tonight after we do a birthday video. Yes, Anyways. birthday video is much more important. Ha, oh, um, thank you. Alright, guys, we'll see you all in the next video. And subscribe, subscribe. Like. Oh, Share. and, uh, and, uh, bitch better have my, my money. money. Bitch, but I have my money. We're gonna do that. Oh, what was the quote of the day? Shit. Oh, um. Oh, I don't need a penis to see your to... microscope. Bra magnifying glass. Magnifying glass. Brought yeah. to you by Phoenix's mom. <laughs> yeah, my parents are kind of crazy. <laughs> but yeah, subscribe. Subscribe. And.